I'm Kristen Vartan. Here are some of the stories making headlines locally. The Edmonston fire has been burning at the base of the grapevine for four days now. Kern County Fire tweeting out the latest update on that brush fire Saturday evening. The flames have consumed 682 acres and is now 65% contained. The fire broke out just after 4 p.m. Thursday evening off Edmonston Road near the Edmonston pumping station. The fire, which was initially reported at about 150 acres, doubled in size within an hour. Now 272 firefighters are reported to be on scene. And due to those dry conditions, the Bureau of Land Management Bakersfield issuing a fire prevention order ahead of the weekend. So we're taking an in-depth look at those and what those restrictions look like. The order prohibits setting, building, maintaining, or even attending an open flame or campfire, smoking outside of an enclosed vehicle or camp trailer, using anything with a combustion engine like chainsaws or generators, having or discharging fireworks, or using welding equipment on public lands. And the order including limits on some firearm use too, banning the possession or use of any steel jacketed ammunition. Now, this order applies to all public lands under the Bureau of Land Management's jurisdiction and is set to go into effect tomorrow, May 23rd. And now let's take a look at our weather forecast. It is definitely getting hot in here, Kern County, out there, upper 80s for us on the valley floor. But the bulk of the heat sitting in the desert areas that are in those 90s already are mountains faring cooler, but they're a little all over the place. Some places like the Grapevine in the 80s, and then some in those under 70s and upper 60s, but not the warmest it is gonna get for us. It's gonna be scorching on Tuesday and Wednesday, especially because on Wednesday we have a heat advisory in effect and it's giving us this area that's shaded in the orange region on Tuesday and Wednesday, 100 degrees on the valley floor in some places. So make sure you check in on your loved ones and make sure you're in an air conditioning area. Limit time outside. It's very hot and definitely don't want to be in that or be exercising out there. Wear light clothing and definitely, like I mentioned before, drink plenty of water. But even if it's hot, it's going to be a beautiful day in our community and we're getting very excited for summer on the way and that's what's making headlines. We'll have another update for you later today and make sure to tune into that.